at the type of traffic, so if it's TCP, UDP, uh, whatever. Hello, in this video we're going to talk about uh, one of our new features called uh, Always Available slash Out of Path. Um, that's why um, Gijsbert is here from the R&D department. Uh, so you've developed this feature yourself, I heard. Um, what is Out of Path or how was available? Uh, well, Out of Path or Always Available is um, the idea of um, having your scrubbing uh, separate of your normal flow of traffic. Ah, so okay. normally your traffic uh, will go through the scrubber and with out of path or always available it will be uh, in line with it. Ah. So next to your normal traffic. So you can, at any moment you can change your mind and uh, let your traffic go through the scrubber. Alright, could, could you like uh, picture that out for me on, yeah, the, sure. on the whiteboard? So uh, for instance, if you have your, if you have the internet here, yeah. So, um, then you have your server or network, whatever. Um, so it goes to your server and back to the internet. Um, with the scope in between. So traffic will go from the internet to the scrubber and to your server. So basically this is uh, what you have uh, uh, normally. And then and so this is in line, I assume? Uh, yeah, basically. Yep. Uh, when it's out of path uh, or always available and you won't have this normally, it will just go straight to your server and then we'll have a uh, something monitoring if you have out of path. So uh, if you're a remote customer, then you have your own monitoring, or we, we can provide you uh, with some. Um, if you are a colocation customer or you use a serious network, then you will you can use uh, our own monitoring. So we'll do that for you. So uh, incoming traffic will be uh, sent to our monitoring. And then we can monitor the traffic if there is uh, an anomaly, then we can send the traffic uh, through a scrubber and then to the server. So the monitoring system basically sends a signal to uh, a, a switch then that just reroutes the traffic? or yeah, To a router switch to uh, route the traffic to a scrubber instead of just directly to the server. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and, and, and what if uh, my uh, server or uh, network is not located in one of the severe data centers? Then you will have to do it yourself with your own monitoring, and then you can um, um, tell your own routers to route traffic through our uh, network. Ah. So then we can uh, scrub it again. So then the monitoring is not at our site, but at a uh, yeah. local site. At your own uh, site. And that monitoring can be whatever you want. We can provide you with some, or you can use, use your own. Ah, all right, all right. Um, so, uh, what are the advantages of our out of path? Well, basically, um, if, if you have inline protection, so it goes to your scrubber directly, then you will have to make uh, more hops. So from the scrubber to your server. Yeah. And if you have uh, out of path, so it just goes directly uh, to your server, then you don't have to make this extra hop to your ah. So if you're if you a remote customer and you're somewhere in uh, America, for example, then you won't have to go, then your uh, traffic won't have to go to uh, the Netherlands, where we are, uh, to your uh, and then back to your server to the Netherlands. So that will uh, basically owe your latency a lot. Oh, yeah. Except for, of course, for during attacks. Yeah, then you would like uh, to have it uh, go through us. Because so otherwise, they... you won't have any. Uh, yeah. Traffic. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so, how does um, the, uh, the, the monitoring system know that an attack is being active? Um, it looks at normal traffic, so uh, for example if you have a web server then you won't be receiving uh, multiple gigabytes of traffic per second. Um, uh, it will also look at the type of traffic, so if it's TCP, UDP, uh, whatever. So if you have a, for example, again a, a web server then you won't be expecting lots of UDP traffic. And same thing uh, for a DNS server which expects uh, uh, UDP traffic, but not like uh, ICMP, like ping requests, a lot of those. So uh, based on that, it can make decisions if it's uh, an attack or just a spike in the uh, And the system does these uh, predictions themselves, or yeah. can I also set a certain 
settings so depending to change. on what uh, monitoring you have um, you can change some parameters some have uh, baseline settings which you could change and some uh, just don't have, to have those and have some yeah normal uh, settings all right um so uh, if you guys uh, offer the monitoring um can i also have influence on the settings of that monitoring or yeah definitely um we provide uh, one guard uh, as a monitoring solution and that uh, is something we can uh, provide with nok as yeah. nok as a service and you can change your own settings on those all right so it's, it's very customizable then yeah does that also feature, uh, is it also featured in the API? Uh, not in our API, but uh, OneGuard has its own API. Which ah, all right, all right. So thank you guys for joining me and explaining uh, the solution. Uh, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, if uh, you have any questions regarding this topic, uh, you can drop them down in the comments and uh, we will uh, try to answer them all. Um, thank you for watching again. Bye. <laughs>